solve 3x squared, add 2x, subtract 13 equals 0, give your solutions correct to one decimal place. Now, when you are solving a quadratic equation like this one, and the question specifies that it wants your answers to one decimal place, or three significant figures, or anything like that, that is your hint that you need to use the quadratic formula. Now, the quadratic formula states that if we have a quadratic of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then the solutions to that quadratic will always be x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, in this quadratic equation that I've got here, a is equal to 3, that's just the coefficient of the x squared term. b is equal to 2, that is just the coefficient of the x term. And c is equal to negative 13. Now I just need to input these values of a, b and c into the quadratic formula which we have written here. So x is equal to negative b, which is negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 2 squared. Subtract 4 times by a times by c all over two lots of a. Now I'm going to use my calculator and just input this into my calculator, making sure we use brackets where brackets are needed. So I'm going to put the fraction button first of all. I've then got negative b, which is minus 2, plus, I'm going to go for the plus option first of all, the square root of b squared, or 2 squared, subtract 4, multiplied by 3, multiplied by negative 13, oh. and then all of that is over 2 lots of a, which is 2 times 3. If I press execute here, it gives it to me in third form initially. I'm just going to use the format button and change it to a decimal. So my first solution for x is 1.8 if I round it to one decimal place. And now I need to get my second solution for x. And to do this, I'm going to leave this formula exactly the same. I'm just going to change the plus to a minus at the beginning. So changing that to a minus, executing again, and then again using the format button and changing this to a decimal, I get my second solution, which is negative 2.4. So I've got my two solutions here for x. The first one is 1.8 to one decimal place, and the second one is negative 2.4 to one decimal place.